Well, greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. I'm still here. Um, today is the last day of my children's winter break, and they both want to do screen time, so I have some free time, and I thought I'd make a video. And where to start? Where to start? I decided, let me make a video of some of the things I didn't make a video on in 2019. First, we're going to start off with events. Um, I did do a video on my combined 3D printing uh, plastic canvas project uh, that I did for Maker Faire Nova. But I didn't do a video on Maker Faire Nova, which was a blast as usual. This was my fifth year participating in doing a booth. You try to do hands-on projects of, at the Maker Faire, and to, especially to engage children. And how do you translate a giant heron? Uh, to a hands-on project. Uh, what it did end up doing was uh, modeling quick little pendants in Blender and it cut uh, some plastic canvas inserts. At the event I think about 52 kids uh, stitched their own pendants which is uh, super duper fun. Then you may or may not know I'm on the board of the East Coast Rip Rap Festival so of course I went to the second East Coast Rip Rap Festival, second Earth, in October. Uh, that was a huge blast as well, um, and I'm very much looking forward to our third year, which is going to be in Bel Air, Maryland again, uh, but we're going to expand. In 2018, I did a video on the derby cars that uh, we did for my sons for the first ERF. For the second year, they participated in the 3D printed derby again, um, <coughs> so I modeled cars for them again. My oldest son, Sagan, he went ahead and stuck with the Orville theme. Um, so this time he wanted to do a shuttlecraft, which was actually a lot easier to do uh, than the Orville ship itself. Uh, we painted it. Um, it was a little slower than the Orville ship from the year before, but that's accurate. That's, uh, that's accurate to the show that the shuttlecraft would be slower than the real ship. My youngest son, I thought I had this brilliant idea. He loves Minecraft, and I'm like, oh, you know what? If you design this in Minecraft uh, for the Windows machine, then you know I can export it, and you know, like you can design it. So you know, I told him, go design your own car in Minecraft. Uh, but he went to the Xbox 360, and also he made quite a uh, engineering feat uh, didn't quite translate well to a car. It's a very tall tower. It had fire. Um, it had a portal in it. Uh, what I did was I truncated his design quite a bit. I just took the tippy top. Um, having the, the nether portal straight up didn't seem very aerodynamic, so I went ahead and took the liberty of tilting it a little bit. Um, and then I did the flames, and we did a lot of painting, which is not my forte, um, but I did a good enough job that when we were walking to register the vehicle, other kids were like, Minecraft, Minecraft. So it was really good to see that the inspiration translated to the final car. Trainings. So I think what I find most fulfilling with all the 3D printing activities that I do is doing classes. Um, and this year I was lucky enough to do a series of classes for a local library system to the librarians who are going to go to their branches and disseminate the information. Um, so I did classes on, um, my favorite was uh, Slicer Troubleshooting with Kira, which meant I had to learn Kira, so now I know Kira. I did one on hardware and troubleshooting, um, so that also included like looking at your first layers and your, your bed leveling. Finally, we did a um, session on um, like sort of like a speed dating for 3D modeling. So we went over in the session four different 3D modeling programs. Uh, we did uh, Tinkercad, uh, we did OpenSCAD, uh, we did Blender, and then uh, Sculpt JL. And so we just spent a little time with each one to help connect people with the 3D modeling software that would work the best for them. Whenever I do these training sessions, I also put my slides up on SlideShare, so uh, if this is anything that you're interested in, uh, the links to those slides are down below. I learned some new things this year. I uh, learned Cura for that class that I just talked about. Uh, in addition, uh, I was asked to teach a class on Tinkercad code blocks, so in order to do that, I have to learn Tinkercad code blocks. Uh, that 
class ultimately got canceled, but don't feel bad because I loved learning Tinkercad code blocks. I had such a fun time. Uh, I did projects on making a cuff bracelet. Uh, I made my own uh, Kirk Monaghan ring and um, I made uh, caffeine molecules uh, so we can make it into earrings, even though my ears aren't pierced. Um, so I just had a fantastic time with code blocks and I look forward to coming up with other projects that would uh, relate well to that. I do a lot of Blender, um, but my comfort level is in Blender 2.79, and I wrote a book on Blender 2.79. There's Blender 2.8. It's been out for some time, and I've been dilly-dallying on learning it. I have to give a big thanks to Jay Wall at Print That Thing. He has an online Blender 2.8 bootcamp course, and I signed up to take that. I'm only three weeks in. I have one more week to go, uh, but I love it, and I love Blender 2.8. It um, didn't take me very long at all to get acclimated to the new interface, and I've been loving all the projects that uh, Jay Wall has been taking us through. So I'll put a link down below for his class. Also, I have coupon codes, so I'll put that there, there too, so you can get a discount if you want to sign up. Finally, I did my own original dual extrusion design. I had a work colleague that I've worked with about a decade um, move on to another, another company. And as a going away gift, I made this uh, gentleman a wine sapper. He hunts elk. So I put together a two color elk uh, wine stopper. Um, still have a lot to learn about those ooze shields and all that because uh, i'm only showing you a picture of one side the other side's not as nice um but it was really fun it was fun to to dive into that and to start to expand my knowledge base there were some flattering things that happened this year in march the women in 3d printing group did a profile interview with me and so i'll put a link there down below and then in June for um, Women in Engineering Day, a company called Trimec uh, uh, included me in a list of ten, 10 of the most influential women in 3D printing, which there's, I've, I've seen lists of 50 women in 3D printing, and I don't make that list. But somehow for Trimec, I made the top 10. So both of those were very, very flattering, and the links are down below. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you had a fantastic 2019. I hope you have a phenomenal 2020. Maybe I will see you at IRF. Uh, how many videos am I going to do in 2020? We don't know, but I'm still going to be working on projects and I will still try my best to share them with you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can comment down below here on YouTube. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at TGAW and you can find me on Instagram at VickiTGAW.